Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use Kaltura Capture to record your computer desktop as well as a webcam if you have one uh, installed. So I've got a, um, we're going to go through, what you have to do is start out on your Canvas site. Uh, you've got your, under your account, you've got My Media over here on the left. Click that. And it'll give you a kind of a rundown of all the videos that you've made or uploaded uh, using Canvas. Add new right here. And down here, second to the bottom, is Kaltura Capture. Now you uh, agree to sign your soul away. If you don't have Kaltura Capture installed already, it'll give you a prompt. And down here, you can download it for Windows or download it for Mac. It'll uh, download that, install it. It does take a little bit of time, so be aware of that. Uh, but once you have it installed and you get to this point, it'll give you this pop-up. I'll open out Kaltura Capture, then yes. And this, uh, doing a, if you, this comes up, you can hit new recording. Otherwise, this will come up. Now, it gives you a few options here. I have a few cameras and mics going on and, and monitors, so... Uh, I have to be really careful that I'm recording the right camera and microphone and screen. So I uh, make sure I've got my the right screen I want to record. Make sure I've got the camera that I want to record. So it's this one here rather than this one. Uh, and then audio, I find this is uh, is always a, a headache when I uh, because there's usually like the webcams have a mic. The, I got a microphone here, so right, um, I've got three to choose from. So now I got to make sure that the the Yeti is what I'm recording recording this video, but and because I can't have both going out the same audio going in to the same microphone, I have to pick another one. So I'll pick the audio coming from this webcam. So it gets a little bit wonky, but uh, um, you know you reap what you sow, I guess. Anyway, so this make sure everything's all set. I hit record, three, two, one. So now I'm a, a, a student or an instructor here using Kaltura. Hi, my name's Chris. I'm gonna give you the worst presentation ever. Uh, I've got a couple of guidelines and um, uh, suggestions for using a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, that's that, I hope you enjoyed it. It literally was the worst, if not shortest presentation ever. So, and that's that. So I will go ahead and stop my recording. Are you sure you want to stop this? Yes, stop it. And I get this screen again. So I'm going to give it a Kaltura demonstration 2 because I made an attempt earlier and I don't want to uh, cause any file issues. I'm going to go ahead and save and upload that. So then that takes a little bit of time, so that was one reason why I recorded one earlier. All right, so, and if I go back to, uh, let's see if I go back to the, you can see it's got about 10% uploading here. That goes pretty fast, which is nice. If I were to record the video and upload it using Canvas, especially uh, the last month or so, it's been, it, incredibly difficult uh, and time-consuming I found that this has actually been a lot easier so I can see that's been uploaded go back to my account my media and it'll show me that it's in the pro it's being processed so I get the little gears and everything so I know that's good to go now what's actually really nice about this while this is this is going so here is what I have I have my uh, say I've got this video, this was one I recorded before. Oh, lovely. So you can see the cam will go on in about a second. There it is. Okay, so I'll mute that because I definitely don't want to hear myself. Uh, what's nice about this is that uh, while it pops up my webcam, at least when I recorded it, the webcam took over, I can just switch it by hitting this toggle and it'll just switch them, okay, which is really nice. And then I have a couple options here. I can either do side to side, or I can just have focus on one screen altogether, uh, and that toggles as well. So there's a lot of great 
options. It's very simple. Uh, it doesn't seem, I haven't run into too many issues so far. Here's the, here's the thing though, um, to share it. So obviously if you're, if you want to submit this or have other people submit this, you've got to figure out how to, uh, get, get that file submitted. So let's see if I can share, let's see. So if I go right back to this, and if I click back on the Kaltura Capture interface, it gives me the URL for that. I can just copy and paste that. Okay, I'll stop this. So now if I go to my Canvas site, go into Student View real quick and say I want to submit a file. If I want them to submit a video file, assignment um, when you're setting up the assignment you can ha you have the option to that they can um, place a website URL this is pretty awesome I can just copy and paste that into there put some comments whatever submit assignment done I can go to submissions de submission details there's the URL click on it and there it is pretty straightforward on uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't had too many issues with it. Uh, it may take a little bit of time to get uploaded. I'm still in, but other than that, uh, there's gonna you're not you're gonna run into those same issues uh, regardless of what you're using. But uh, it does seem a lot be better. See, so that's that's already done. It takes a little bit of time, not too bad. Uh, versus uploading a video, it's taken, you know, I've had students, if I upload a video, I've had students 10 minutes later saying they still can't see it. So um, this is a, a pretty good option. All right, uh, that's it for me. Hope that helps.